in order to solve this beautiful puzzle, you should be able to think out of the box. There is only one very important move that you should foresee it before you start all other moves and so to solve this puzzle. For that, you need to think out of the box. Let us start with simple observation to see what's the situation. White's king is very limited. The only square the king can go is c4, somewhere like here. How can we stop the king from going there? You're right, playing b5. Now white vacated another square. Our initial plan was to play c6 and deliver mate, right? If the pawn was e on e4, this was mate. But now king can go to e4. And pushing there is not good. Later we can bring the rook, but king escapes. What can we do now? You're right, we can block that square as well. Here is where you should have been able to see it in advance. What to do next? Do we play c6? No, our c6 plan fails here. It doesn't work. Uh, also, giving check doesn't help you. Yes, limits the king a little bit, but takes with the rook easily. Let's reevaluate the position. Let's reevaluate the position. The only place white king can go is e5. What if we block e5? Can white king go anywhere else? No. So white has just um, uh, to move pieces, cannot move the king. With which piece we can block e5? Yes, there is only one valuable piece that can block the e5, the pawn. And what is the final beautiful move? Right, knight can go backward. <laughs>